to keep our fingers crossed that he's okay. Not sure where the Australian's gone down. We've got a change of the lead again. It's one of the Australian glitfields. It's Moreira from Moreira. Moreira up the inside at turn three. Where's uh, Holgado dropped to? He's, oh, it's a crash in the background. A few riders went down there. Can't quite see who, but there's at least two riders. Not sure who that was. Uh, I'm sure we'll pan back in a, in a moment. It's one of the TMs. And that looks like one of the Salvador, talent team riders. You see the Salvador or Fusco who is involved in there. So we were looking as they come through uh, the first sector. Uh, Tio comes through there. It's the uh, it's 69 Fusco, of yeah. Fusco who's uh, gone down, unfortunately. So his race uh, certainly is a uh, points contender. Uh, would appear to be over. Oh, um, what's this? What's happening here? Oh, God. Oh, what's um, happened? Incident oh. there. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, I think we're going to have a red flag here for yeah, that. Must um, be a red flag. Um, has to be a red flag. The, uh, oh, get out of the way of that. There's a, that looks like one of the, uh, the the balls that they put down when they're treating an injured rider. It looks yeah. like one of those sort of physio sort of pads that they've uh, got on the racetrack at the moment. Um, we'll keep an eye on that, but we'd expect a red flag to come out uh, as a result of that. Um, out in front, there's a, yeah, red flag has now come out on the timing screens, and no great surprise uh, after that. Um, of course, we'll keep an eye on uh, on the situation with the riders who were down. We didn't actually see what happened in the lead up to that, but we saw marshals waving at the riders. Um, but we didn't see any yellow flags out, uh, curiously. No. So we're not quite sure what had gone on there. Yeah, really not sure what happened there, but hopefully all riders involved um, are okay. I think that's Mario Aji who's yeah, it is the 16 on his uh, on his helmet. Yeah. Disappointment for Aji who's fifth in the championship. But yeah, fingers crossed the rest of the riders okay. Yeah, really, really strange. Not sure what happened there. Obviously, we saw the marshals signaling to the riders get over to the other side of the track. But we walked the track yesterday, Lewis, and obviously walking pace is completely different to racing speed. But even when you're walking up, uh, it's really impossible to see. Uh, what's on the other side of the hill it really is a sudden drop yeah so you can't see anything you, yeah no. like as you're walking up that hill you, you all you can see is the sky and even when you go over at the top of the hill that's the 23 then that's down uh, that's david real's bike um in the middle of the track um because we don't know where the rider is at the moment as they go and retrieve at his bike um but yeah it's 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 one of those nightmare scenarios if there's if there's a bike or a rider or something else on the track the other side of one of those crests there's no way of being aware of what's coming until it's too late, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, a very dangerous situation. Uh, and it's, it's just one of the features. As much as we absolutely love this circuit, um, that's a rider. We, uh, we don't know who that is at the moment, so we're not going to speculate on which rider that is who's uh, lying injured at the moment on track, although we were glad to see there was at least some movement going on there um, for that rider. Um, but, yeah, it's the worst-case scenario. If there is something on the track, whether it's a rider, a machine, or something else, you can't see it coming until it is literally too late. Yeah, exactly right. We saw uh, Aaron Connect crash there last year, I think it was in the Moto2 class. Um, and like I say, it's when you're at the bottom of that hill and the riders are coming over, uh, obviously at racing speeds, trying to get the, the front wheel down, you've not got much time to react. So hopefully all riders are okay. We'll bring you information on that when we get it. Um, but yeah, not, not a good start to the race then. Really, really strange to see the marshals at the side of the track trying to wave the riders um, towards the other side of the track without there being any yellow flags. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what occurred there. But yeah, there we go then. Yeah, yeah, but the problem was there was no yellow flag. There was just a marshal standing on the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like that. Already, already. Interesting to hear that. So there was no yellow flags according to the riders, just marshal. So it must have been a, a real shock uh, coming over the crest to see that. Um, just listening into the conversation with Kelso. I mean, the one thing that would, would work in the, the riders' favour there is they, they, they would be naturally going over to the right-hand side anyway on the racing line. So that would work in their favour. But yeah, it's the last thing as a rider that you would expect to see, particularly when you've not seen any yellow flags already, to be coming out of that corner. I and mean, as you're coming over that crest, all you can see are marshals on the track waving you across the other side of the track. I mean, even if you do avoid whatever hazard is up ahead of you, that's immensely distracting. Um, for the riders who, as, as I mentioned, as Joel Kelso has pointed out, that's the last thing you're expecting to see because there's no flags to warn you. The flags are there to warn you of an impending danger up ahead. Uh, and unfortunately, on that occasion, for whatever reason, and of course we can't speculate on that either, there didn't appear to be any. No, we'll keep our fingers crossed that all the riders involved were okay. I think it looked like the uh, one of the riders collected one of...